station. Yeah. Beer station. Yeah. So, um, good afternoon. Uh, who are you and uh, what are you doing here? I'm uh, Arjen. I'm uh, one of the founders of the Next Web, and I run Pedro.net, which is our ticket system and our online network for the event. All right. So, tell me a little bit more about uh, Pedro. Pedro uh, was born uh, in 2008 to facilitate the online ticket sales for the Next Web. And at that time, it was a very specific need that we had because we were an international conference, but we were also with a focus on, on the Netherlands. And um, um, uh, so, should we have a new beginning? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Mooi. Yeah, make clever? Yeah. All right. So, uh, good afternoon. Uh, um, just the first question Who are you and uh, what are you doing here? I'm uh, Arjen Schat. I'm one of the founders of the Next Web. And since here, I'm focusing primarily on uh, uh, running uh, Pedro, which is a ticket system for the for the next app and the online business network. So, uh, Pedro is a ticketing system. Tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, the, the Pedro system uh, allows you to sell your tickets online. Um, we started out as a spin-off uh, of the uh, of the next web in 2008. We needed a ticket system that allowed us to uh, to sell tickets uh, to the business to business market, and there wasn't anything out there that fitted our needs, so uh, then, then your software heart starts again and then you build it yourself, of course. All right, so uh, uh, it, it sounds like a, a space that nobody knows much about. Is, is it a big space and, uh, and are, there, is there many, um, are there many competitors? There are definitely a couple of uh, competitors out there with a, with a bigger market share than Pedro, but their primary focus is on the consumer market. So they try to be a little bit more business orientated. But if you really look into what kind of business that an event is for business-to-business -business users, then there are a couple of very specific needs that we definitely know how to, how to produce uh, a good solution for that. For instance? For instance. Well, for instance, that if you look at the next web, uh, we always try to facilitate as much market opportunity as possible. And with that, I mean that uh, there are uh, 2,000 or maybe 2,500 internet professionals during during the event together, but you actually never know who you actually should meet if you don't know who's there. So one of the uh, one of the items that we uh, have is the uh, online network. It's very easy to sign up with your LinkedIn profile, and then you can browse through everybody who is uh, at the conference and see who might be interested uh, to you to to make a connection. And if you have one perfect connection on the event, you probably will return next year. So it's it's a growth opportunity for the event as well. Right, so it's actually much more than just uh, uh, buying a ticket and getting it uh, in your mailbox. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so the the ticketing is only a very small part actually of the of the service. In the end, you're looking at how can we make it uh, the best event uh, from a technical point of view uh, for for the user. So you, of course you have the production and you have all the speakers and you have the entourage. But in the end, 70% of people who go to business to business events want to connect with other people, and the more you know about who's there, uh, uh, the better connections that you can uh, make, and the, and the better value that you get out of the uh, get out of the event. All right, that sounds very good. That sounds more like a marketing solution almost than just a, a ticketing uh, solution. It's very interesting. Um, um, you talked about uh, uh, the competition in this space, but uh, um, that means that you also have plans to grow the the, the company. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about? How it is funded and uh, uh, how you make money and how you think on growing it. All right. So a couple of questions. But it's bootstrapped still, like the whole next web. It's bootstrapped, and we definitely like it that way. Uh, the growth part is that last year we focused primarily on making the service as smooth as possible because it started out as something that we wanted to use for ourselves, and then then the the product grows with how you work uh, and how you produce the conference. And now we have more and more clients, so we, we learn how other clients produce events and um, uh, make sure that it integrates with the way they are working. So one of the uh, uh, items that we focus on is um, uh, making sure that the whole s outgoing sales process, cold calling, is also facilitated in, in Pedro. Connecting to uh, internal CRM system, for instance, to make, to make sales easier. We have a telesales uh, section in, in Pedro that allows you to, on the phone, make deals, integrate all the information that you already have of the customer into the order, and with one push on the button, you can send out an, an email with the invoice in it, and it allows your client to pay it online or even with Bitcoin this morning. 
Bitcoin, that's what I like. Uh, I also like uh, other coins, Zeta coins, and other altcoins, uh, but uh, maybe that's too soon. Um, so, uh, um, could you maybe share a little bit more about uh, your plan of uh, global domination? Uh, do you global have domination. A global domination? I think you should do that. So, if you have like one, two, three steps to uh, become the world leader in this, uh, this space. World leader in this space. It's like, of course, getting the name out there. That's step one. Step two is, the, is something that we already uh, have in place. It's a great product. We know how to organize events and we know how to uh, build extra business models on top of an, uh, of an event. It starts out with ticketing, but if you can add more value for the customer, then it will return and they probably uh, will also uh, pay for it, for instance, matchmaking or speed dating. Um, and the third is international uh, websites, communications and, uh, and active acquisition. Okay, one last uh, question. You, you're at a conference right now, uh, it's called the Next Web. You're partly uh, yep. uh, co-organizer of it, yep. uh, so that means that you have to keep an eye on all new kind of things that are happening. What is a, a space or a field that, um, that you're particularly interest, interested uh, in, apart from the things that you're doing for your own business? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I'm, I'm more interested now in actually what's the difference between the, the, the value perception of uh, uh, European startups and American startups. And uh, I see you you're thinking about it, but it's, it's, it's a crazy idea that every American startup uh, 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 should be more valuable than a European startup. But if you look, for instance, at the cost of living there, and uh, like Y Combinator, uh, the new uh, Sam Altman uh, CEO uh, uh, posted last week, is that they raised their funding uh, because the cost of living has increased. But it also automatically uh, uh, implies that the valuation of your company should be higher. And that's, uh, that's, that's crazy. So I think we should raise more money in, in Europe uh, as well with, with lower equity percentages. Excellent. Thank you very much. Sure.